Hi, it's me, Tarek from the Small Priest Trust. I've got another engineering at home challenge for you today. This one's an absolute classic and for good reason. Today we're going to be making a simple parachute. As with all of our challenges, this one requires adult supervision, particularly when launching your parachutes from height. The aim of the parachute is to protect our precious cargo, helping it return safely to Earth. For this activity, you'll need some stuff to make your parachute from, your precious cargo and a responsible adult. The same as the first two challenges, we're going to be using normal household items to make your parachute. So if yours look different to mine, that's absolutely fine. You can use anything you like as your precious cargo. Just make sure it's got a little bit of weight to it and make sure that you're not too attached to it in case your parachute doesn't work the way you intended it to. For my precious cargo, I'm going to be using an egg. These are getting quite rare at the moment, so I have gone ahead and hardballed this fella just to make sure he's safe. Um, and I have every intention of eating him after the experiment's over as well. Um, so no wastage here. For our parachute, we need something with a large surface area to counteract that force of gravity that's acting on it. I'll be using a sandwich bag, but you can use paper, newspaper, card, anything that you can make into a large surface area to help slow that parachute down. There are a few things that you need to consider when making your parachute. How can I maximise the surface area of the parachute? How can I make it as light as possible? Think about evenly spacing the strings or whatever you use to attach it. And finally, your precious cargo needs to be able to enter and exit freely. Before you start, you might want to do some research to get some design inspiration, and that's exactly what I've done here. Do you feel inspired yet? Perfect, then it's time to build. pre-made is this little egg basket just out of some odds and ends of a egg carton that I've put together with lots of sellotape. Couldn't find any string in here so rather than use string I've used little bits of ribbon from wrapping our Christmas presents and then that's all attached here to this food bag that I've, well two food bags that I've actually sellotaped together to get a bigger surface area. Uh, I am slightly worried that it's quite heavy, so we'll have to see how that goes. I've uh, weighed it, and uh, with our precious cargo, it comes in at 88 grams. Not too, uh, not too happy with that, so we'll see how that goes in the testing. Now when it comes to the launching and the testing, it's all about what you've got available to you. I live in an apartment, but we do have some stairs we can use. So for the launch, I'm going to get as much height as I possibly can and release it from about here, okay? And what we can do, we can measure it, we can calculate the speed that it goes, um, but when it comes to the testing, something like this for your first height. So, let's see how well this one goes. Down with a thud. <laughs> Should we go and see how we did? <laughs> so, he's all intact. I'm calling him Egg Wallace. Managed to survive that one, so we could now, in theory, progress onto slightly higher um, drops to see how well our parachute works. But like I said before, I think the weight of that uh, is probably counting against us quite heavily there, because he uh, went, went to ground with quite a thud. For this part, you can add a little bit of maths in as well. For example, you can calculate the velocity that your parachute travels by measuring the distance it falls and the time it takes to reach the ground. That seemed to go much better. Although he looks unhappy to be here, he remains intact. Nice one, Egg. Now I'm going to challenge the rest of the team too, so let's see how they get on.
And now it's over to you to have a go. Share videos of you having a go with the hashtag engineering at home. Don't forget to tag us and we'll repost our favorites. For some more projects, check out our socials and our YouTube channel. And if you're struggling, you'll find a guide in the description below as well, which will help you out. Good luck.